Hi everyone, my name is Noelle. My channel is Delinquent Muse. And I'm making a video today because I only recently found out that Dark Souls 2 is having a promotion um, in order in anticipation of their new DLC coming out this summer. Um, it's coming out in three parts. It will be the first one will be coming out in July, July 22nd, and that one will be called Crown of the Sunken King. And then Crown of the Old Iron King will come out and then Crown of the Ivory King is going to be with us September 23rd. So apparently they've done something where they have changed the contents of the of the chest in Majula, the treasure chest located in the basement. And so I was curious about it and I got on uh, onto my PS3 yesterday. So this is PS3. Um, so if you're having trouble with your um, getting the contents out of the box with any other uh, what I tell you today may or may not work, but it's always worth a try, I figure. Okay, so my first character, Noelle, which is my name, um, I was able to get the content, I was able to get the promotional item, no problem, as well as the, my next character, Subaki. Um, however, my other characters, Balsa, Elsa, and Katniss isn't really doing anything right now, so I didn't try it on her, and then Haruka, um, none of them got the promotional item, but she Balsa and Elsa got the soul vessel, so I don't know what's going on with that. And then I don't think Haruka got anything at all. The chest was just empty and open. So I went onto my husband's account and I messed around with a few things. And one, only one of his characters was able to get the promotional item, and two of his characters were not able to get it. But then after messing around a little bit, I was able to get them. And um, basically, to do with warping in and out of Majula. But let's see what's going on with my characters. So these two I know Noelle and Tsubaki already got the promotional item so I'm gonna go into Majula with Balsa and try again with her. Let's see what we can do. So it was kind of interesting that Balsa got the soul vessel when I'm like 90% sure that I had already picked that up before. So I'm not sure if they're also giving out extra in this promotion. But anyways, the, the way the promotion works is every week until the DLC comes out, they're going to have new special items in that treasure chest. So we've already missed the first few, unfortunately. June 5th, June 11th, June 18th, and June 25th, they had several items in there that we could have gotten. Um, on June 5th, they had three petrified somethings. June 11th, they had two twinkling titanite had five crack red eye orbs and on June 25th they had four bonfire aesthetics and the four bonfire aesthetics are actually what I was able to get yesterday with several of my characters and some people are saying that you can't get um, more than you, you can only get a copy of the promotional item on one character but it that's not the case I was able to get it on several characters all of my husband's characters and two of mine chest as you can see is open and so what people have been saying is try to quit and reload and I don't think that's gonna work because well I, turning on the game from yesterday I've obviously done that so I'm not even gonna try it other people are saying well go rest at the bonfire and see if it appears so I guess I'll try that even though I really doubt that's gonna work we have to eliminate that as a possibility though so here we go I think I probably tried that with her yesterday, and I don't think it worked, so... But let's try it again. Then I was thinking, oh, maybe you have to light the bonfire or something, light the, uh, what is it, the sconce, but... I really doubt they would make it that cryptic. Although, it is Dark Souls, <laughs> so maybe it wouldn't surprise us if they made us do that. But let's see. Alright, so the chest is still empty. Now let's try to warp out. Warp back to Majula's bonfire. So 
like I said, this is PS3, but if you're having trouble on your Xbox or PC, then try warping out and see if that works. I'm not sure if it's going to work for Balsa, but it should work for, I'm hoping, for at least one or two of my three characters. I haven't been able to get it on. Now, if you look at the website, um... Oh, sorry, I'm going wrong right here. If you look at the website for the chest event, I mean, it's, I tell you what it is, but it's in Japanese, so I'm not sure most of you, I guess I'll put a link to it in my in the commentary. Um, if you look at the website where they talk about the promotion... Oh, wow, it worked. Okay, here we go. So let's see what we got. So it appears that warping out is the key. Okay, so I'm getting the next promotional item, which is Poison Stone and Bleed Stone. And that starts today. Now they said it started at 2 p.m., but um, July 2nd, 2 p.m., and right now it's, I'm sorry, July 1st at 2 p.m., and I was assuming that that meant Japanese Standard Time, but right now it's July 1st, and it's 2 a.m. in Japan. So, I guess the time's a little bit off, but anyways, it's apparently already working that you can get the next item today. Starting with today, July 1st, there's going to be four more chances to get these promotional items. The next one will be on July 8th, and that will be three Elizabeth mushrooms and three withered dusk herbs. Um, and then after that, on July 15th, they're going to have five smooth and silky stones. And then on July 22nd, which is going to be the most interesting item, it's a secret item, they're not announcing ahead of time what it is. But I suspect it's probably going to be some kind of key item like we had in Dark Souls 1 where you had to go back and defeat the um, blue crystal golem in Duke's archives and then he dropped something, I think it was a silver talisman in order to get into um, the Ulysseal area in the DLC. So it's probably going to be something like that, some key item that we'll need for this upcoming DLC, and that would be cool. Okay, so her chest is open. So I think we've determined that the bonfire doesn't reset it. And she doesn't have any... She doesn't have a feather because she's just first game. But she's got several homeward bones, so let's use that and see if that works. It, it ought to work, because I think that worked on one of my husband's characters yesterday when I tried that. Um, so if you don't have a homeward bone, or you don't have a feather, then just go to the bonfire, warp somewhere else, and warp back, and that ought to reset it too. Oh, so... I decided to make this video because I was having trouble getting these items on all of my characters. I was confused as to why some characters were getting it and some weren't. And that, that same thing happened on my husband's account, so I just played around with it a little bit and figured out that you gotta actually warp. So I'm just trying to prove that to myself right now. <coughs> so I. Yeah, I don't think you need a light that. Yeah, so here we go. And it should be again the um, poison and bleed stone. Yep, so she missed out on the bonfire aesthetics. Too bad. But I guess those are easy enough to farm, so that's cool. Alright. Okay, so I don't think I need to prove it to you with my last character that's, that that's what you probably have to do, is warp in and out. Um, so if you're having trouble, go ahead and do that. I think I'm pretty confident that that's what you've got to do at this point. Um, resting at the bonfire won't reset the, the um, chest. 
Although it was pretty odd after I got the item, I went, I was able to get an extra soul vessel afterward on some of these characters. So I don't know if you want to try warping again and seeing if the chest gets reset again. Maybe you'll get an extra soul vessel. I don't know. So. So anyways, um, that's all I wanted to say. Hope you guys have a great day. If anyone's having trouble, let them know about um, what I said. I doubt they really need to see this video in order to fully uh, be able to get that item. <laughs> so take care and I'll see you guys later.